school just a day after his death, many of his friends returning to class. ABC 7's Rosemary Montanez joins us live from the school. And Rosemary, what did those friends tell you? Well, Stephanie and Eric, I can tell you that I spoke to a small group of Ryan's friends. They're also students here at Bellard High School. They say they'll miss Ryan deeply, and they say they'll rethink twice before heading out to one of these parties. I, I didn't believe it at all. Like, I had to text someone, and well, I saw the news, so I mean, it was just hard. The student body at Bellard High School is mourning the loss of one of their own. Over the weekend, a shooting turning deadly in Horizon City. More than 200 people were present at that party, and among those, 15-year-old Ryan Romero, a Highlander. He was always there for somebody when you needed it. Like, he was someone you could rely on. Some here saying Ryan was more than a classmate. They called him a friend. One friend says he won't forget Ryan's last hours. We're talking, and he was trying to get me to go to this party that he went to, and I wasn't, I was just trying to go, but no. But no, he was trying to get me to go, and I couldn't go, so I told him, and he was, I was like, just stay safe, like, let me know whenever you get home. He says he kept in contact with Ryan throughout that night. And then he ended up texting me while everything was happening, saying that, like, something's going up, something's, something's going down to, like, text his brother. So then after all that happened, I didn't get any text from him, and I got a text uh, notifying me that he's, he was dead. And they say they'll think twice before going out. At least for a while, because seeing someone I've lost so close to me and, like, so, like, so well I've actually loved and cared for, seeing him go um, will actually keep me away from the party scene. Others say more needs to be done to make them feel safe while having fun. And it just sucks knowing like all of this violence is just not, it's not really stopping, but it will just take another one out of our community. And yeah, I would like to see a change. An incredibly difficult day today for the Bel Air community. It's important to note that Isleta Independent School District did say they would have extra counseling available for students and teachers who needed it at this time. For now reporting in Bel Air in the Lower Valley, Rosemary Montañez, ABC7.